All right, so the previous tutorial talked a little bit about menus. And it's kind of hard to talk about menus without talking about blocks, but I thought it would break the two uh, apart. Um, blocks are essentially um, chunks of content. You can think of them maybe as widgets, but they could be menus, they could be um, displays of content, but in general you can think of them as kind of like collection, displays or collections of menus. Um, here on Drupal we can see that this right now, this is the search is a search block, this navigation area is a navigate is a menu block. And you control blocks by going to the structure menu and from the admin menu and clicking on blocks. And here you'll see a page that has different what they call regions and the different regions can have blocks placed in them. Now in a many themes what you can do is click on a link that says demonstrate block regions and here what you'll see is the location of each region that you can place blocks in. So you can see we have a header region, a featured region, sidebar first, sidebar second, highlighted, help, and content. So what I'm going to do is exit this and go to where we can, and we'll go back and then what we can do is go and actually place the blocks in there. So here what I'm going to do is in the previous tutorial, we had created a menu, uh, or actually used the add the main menu block. And in Drupal, every block has a menu. Whenever you add a menu um, to Drupal, you're actually adding a block as well, so that the menu can be displayed. And so Drupal came with the main menu block, and I added some content to this. And what we're going to do here is we're going to display this menu block in the left the first sidebar which is on the left and here we can have we can reorder this so I'm actually gonna have this as being the main menu sidebars displayed right here and I'm gonna click the the save button and I'm just gonna close this down so that we can take a look at that main menu and what you'll see is here we have the home link now remember the main menu is the same as this menu that's going across here um, because you can as if you learn how to theme Drupal websites you'll learn that you can um, place menus into the theme or embed them into the theme so they're no longer block regions they're actually menus and the the menus that Drupal comes with initially are usually hard coded into the theme to be displayed like such as main menu Here you can see we have home, my first Drupal page, and the NGIT link. And you'll notice that there's a little, if we can zoom in here a little bit, you'll see that there's a little arrow here pointing to my first Drupal page. And that means that we can expand this. And then you'll see that underneath the expansion is, is that we have a, the, another Drupal page. And we had added that as an item underneath that menu. So you can have nested menus that are displayed in blocks and you control the actual menu itself through here. Now here's a little shortcut is in some themes you have what's called the context menu and in here the context menu allow, gives us a little shortcut to edit the menu or edit the blocks and so here I'm gonna list the links here and on the another Drupal page I'm actually gonna edit my first Drupal page and remember we saw an option in the first tutorial on menus that showed an option that was show as expanded and since this has a child to it, a, um, a sub-menu, if I choose show this as expanded and save this what you're gonna see is that instead of having to click on my first Drupal page you'll see that to see another Drupal page you'll end up being able to close this down and whenever I go to the home page, you'll see that 
my first Drupal page and another Drupal page are um, expanded automatically and I don't actually have to click on it. In fact, clicking on it doesn't do anything. Now, the next thing that we should take a look at is maybe we don't want the main menu to appear on the front page or maybe we want to change a little bit of maybe we don't want it to say menu menu we just want the links to appear so let's look at how we can manage the block so I'm gonna you can actually get to that through configure block in the uh, context menu or in this case I'm just gonna go the long way around and I'm gonna click structure go to blocks and I am going to choose the main menu block here and click the configure button and so here is the block title in this case you can retitle the block from the default title to something else like I could say this is some menu but in this case what I want to do is show you a little trick which is and this describes this trick right here is I can actually put none in bra in a greater than and less than brackets and what I can do is save this and I'm gonna close this down so we can see the results of this and now you can see that there's no more name now the next thing that we might want to be able to do is maybe we don't want this menu to actually appear on the uh, on the front page so what I can do here is I'm going to click on the context menu this time and I'm going to go to the configure block and one of the options here is I can show this block on all pages except those listed or I can show them only on the pages listed now here, all I want to do is not show the main menu block in this example on the front page. So what I do is there's a little keyword here using the brackets again. So front, and whenever I choose this, I'm going to save it and so when I'm on my Drupal page I can see it when I'm on the home page I can't so when I'm on any one of the other content pages I can be seen but if I'm on the home page it can't be seen and so in this case I can click back on the configure block and I can choose the option of and only on the listed page. So now if I do this, on the front page I see the main menu. If I go to any of the other page the other page in the site, then I don't see the main menu. Now, this is a very basic explanation of that, and what we're going to do is in the future, we're going to actually look at some a little bit more sophisticated way of using this technique to hide and display blocks on your Drupal sites. Because in many cases, you may want to be able to show an about men a menu that is only for one group of pages, such as your about section of your website or maybe you want to show pages related to a specific project um, and you can put that block on a, make a menu called project and then only display that project menu on pages related to that project and but we're gonna that's gonna be in a future tutorial whenever we're gonna talk about how to use uh, about URLs in Drupal and how to take control of your website Now, finally, in the block tutorial, 
let's just go take a little bit of a look at the configure block screen again. Um, different themes can have different regions. So here you can have choose what region this is going to show up in in different um, themes. You can choose. Now this is a very useful trick, uh, which we'll talk about in the future. But you can choose which content type this block is going to show up in. So maybe you only want this block to show up on article pages or basic pages. You can choose what roles the block can be displayed for, whether or not it's anonymous, authenticated, or administrator users. And we'll talk a little bit more about roles, but just to say that anonymous users are users that come visit your website and are not logged in, and authenticated users are logged in, and administrators are, well, administrators of the website. And then the users here, this allows you to set whether or not users can hide or not hide your uh, block. So this sets a little bit of control by here. So I can hit the save button here. And actually, I'm going to fix this. And so that's basically the controls that the blocks can have. Thank you.